What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are here with uh, a Hero Comes Along Seasonal Championship. We have to use, and this is kind of funny, Homologation Heroes cars in the B class. Since you, I think, cannot filter for that, I did some testing. And with that, I mean, I started this championship and looked at which ones we can use and what I decided for. So 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth RS500. It's one you can see here right on the screen. These are the other cars that you could go for. Quite a few, quite a few good ones as well. I wanted to use the BMW M1. I decided against it because while it can be bought at the auto show, which is one of the requirements that I usually stick by, if applicable. I didn't want to go for one that costs half a million when we have one that costs 66,000, which is what the Sierra here costs. So that's basically what we are working with here right now. A lot of the other cars are also more expensive than this one. There might be a less expensive one. I didn't check too much into detail because I found something that was pretty affordable and I went with it. Start, we start with a second race down the middle. Usually you want to go inside there and get as many positions already as you can in that first corner. Now a little bit of a city path going into the side here. This is obviously a very long drawn out path you need to break. And then into the tight corners you can actually poke your nose in if you get the chance. You can get beside and out of the corner, which is not a usual way we overtake, but obviously we take each chance that we are going to get. Probably the better way that you can work with is going into some of the tight vents or then on the gravel bed. I'm breaking a little bit late here. Pushing the other guy wide and we were still on the road and we just had to slow down a lot more to stay on course. And now we want to get closer. Usually you should have the advantage on either the road or the dirt depending on where your strong suit is with tune. This tune is very balanced so that's also how we approach the race. We get the M1 out of the way here. Obviously that has been the car that I would have liked to use. Position to overtake here. We take it wide so we can get a pretty good exit speed. And that allowed us to pass regardless. Because we forced the other guy into a tighter line. Even though know, it wasn't the inside, we came up with a better position. And now, as always, it's about managing what we have accomplished. So, managing the first place. Not taking too many risks. Here in this race, unlike the last championship, you really can't make too much use of cutting checkpoints because a lot of it is whoops, a lot of it is in the city here and cutting the checkpoints doesn't really yield you any big benefit. I recall the dirt bit here. You have to pay attention to that, but also not a lot of fast corners, so you really have to take a slow and measured approach and we're taking it out of the, the usual basics of where you can just breeze past the AI because it's terrible at it. Here you could maybe cut the checkpoint, but it's in a position where I wouldn't suggest going for it here as well. It's at the corner entry, at the corner exit as well. You would have to compromise your line to cut it. So really not a whole lot of checkpoint cutting that I would suggest here. Because the checkpoints are just in positions where I wouldn't really advise cutting through. Maybe this one. But even here it's kind of not necessary. Also in B-class you don't 
really save as much. I mean, with this one it would be okay, but you don't save a lot because the cars are slow enough that you can take that little bend without lifting. So the use of going over the little bump where the checkpoint is, because we're a little bit off the road, is rather limited. To say it in a very friendly way. Oh, we nearly touched the wall there. Here you can cut the checkpoint, that could be worth it or something. Especially if you try to catch up or if you need a little bit of a gap for an overtake, poke your nose in, and that could be uh, a helpful position where you can cut the checkpoint. But apart from that, it's really not the, the thing of this race to cut these checkpoints. Late on the brakes now, yeah, but actually it's it's okay because we're right where we need to be. We just can't get into the corner early, but that's fine because we're not planning on cutting them anyway. Like we're already established in the last lap, so. It's fine to not be early on the brakes. Also a little bit drifting, a little bit of wreckage. Especially when you have a lead like this, you can have some fun off-road. That was a little overdone. Overdone with the fun. And now we're on the run. We're three out of the way again. I think we touched that like every lap. But I can't tell exactly. I think so. Anyway, here we go. That's the first one out of the way. Twenty points in the bag. It's not like we would have had a better result with the M1, so it's all good, right? But we saved a lot of money. Well, I have two M1s, but... If you had to buy it, then you would have saved a lot of money by going for this one instead of the M1. So we're loading into the second race, this is also the last championship. Done the other two already, this third one. It's all rather reasonable here. We should be able to get another win here. start right off the bat I would assume because usually I would expect that try to split them here that worked going around the outside because it was the only place where we were swoon now we're already up into fourth on the outside here because again that was the only place where there was room for us and oh right into Little late on the brakes. Not very clean. But it's okay. It happens. We didn't get the car straight, which was a problem, and then we were just sliding. So we really didn't get the braking power on the road in a controlled fashion. Because of that corner, we would have had brake earlier to get a controlled deceleration. And now we had a controlled drift into first. So what I was doing there was I saw the gap and I saw where we had to go and I saw they were wide. So we had a gap there 
that we could drift into. We couldn't have used our regular line. We couldn't go straight because we already had to turn the car a little bit so that we make the corner in the end. In a decent way at least. Maybe we can cut up the future points. So in order to get that corner we had to initiate a little bit of a drift and then we just managed to slowly slide into first position. Keep them on the outside and take a, a good line into the corner. And that worked beautifully well. Obviously it doesn't always work like that. This one can be cut and so can this one. Both of them cut rather thin. Full into the checkpoint, this one as well. So you can make a little more use of it, maybe even into that corner. That was. That corner wasn't good at all. Entry was bad, breaking point was bad, but that corner was all bad. A little late on the brakes. For the corner it was fine, but it was hard to, to judge where exactly we want to break. So obviously the racing line was red throughout because it wanted us to break from the prior corner as well, which we didn't. So we entered way too fast and had a full red racing line. Then you just have to use your own driving skill and say, okay, I have to break here, I have to break there. And just go full throttle. If you just follow the racing line, the speeds that it suggests you're going to lose pretty hard. So that is certainly something you want to keep in mind. And I repeat that because I have like 80 to 85 percent of my views are new people that haven't viewed before. So most of the views are by people that haven't heard it from me. So I gladly repeat, and like every video, don't just rely on racing line, cut checkpoints, use the fast corners because the AI isn't so fast in them. And if you're someone that watches, well, maybe not all, but a lot of the videos that I do, like you probably can't hear it anymore. You're probably like, yes, I've, I've heard it like 50 times already you don't need to say it again but that's why I often repeat that I'm not a big fan of the rims on that car but they're okay but okay is all they are so that's kind of a point Okay, but that's all we are. Desierto Trail. We should do pretty well. If, if it's the race that I think of, we should have a pretty good win here. If it is the race that I think of, take the outside line here there. Too tightly packed on the inside for us to get anywhere. Here again, we're too tightly on the inside. We still want to stick to the outside here we're gonna be pushed out a little bit and now we switch to the inside oh, a little late on the brakes no oh, that was actually fine Take a little wider approach and here we can poke the nose in no no not yet cut the checkpoint uh, we're a little bit late on the brake because we had a positional fight with the other guy If you don't lead by here, you can grab the lead on this section. I think the AI is too good for it. Especially like cutting that checkpoint a little harder if you need a gap to overtake this one as well. Holding it through here, whoops. Shedding a little bit of weight. Ah, I don't like that. It's not, I mean, it says ultimate clean racing, but that wasn't clean at all. Here again, cutting the checkpoint, but it's 
One of the best ways to, to get overtaken space here, that one as well. I'm really just showing how you want to cut them because there is no need for me right now to do it. But I'm just showing how you, you might want to get into these checkpoints. If you have a gap or if you look for a gap to do the overtake. Here yeah, I really wouldn't overdo it because uh, checkpoints are next to the road, they're in a little bumpy terrain and usually the time you save by cutting a little bit of uh, space away is not worth going over the bumpy terrain. There it was okay because A, you kept a lot more speed going rather straight and around it and B, the the bumpy terrain wasn't all that bad here as well, but the terrain is pretty flat even off the road, so cutting these checkpoints is fine, but with a lot of them there is just no need for it, because the, the actual line, the actual path, is fast enough, so you don't need to take that risk, and now we've already won the last race, that was actually pretty quick. And that gets us three victories and 60 points and a reward, whichever that was, I don't recall, oh yes, uh, that, uh, yes, great. So I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and until next time, farewell.